don't know if you guys know or not. Alright, I'm going to put it like this. For the ones that have eyes to see and ears to hear, the ones that are spiritually awake, the ones that have understanding that we're living in the last days where perilous times shall come, where the love of many shall wax cold, where man will fall away from the faith, where people will truly stop loving God and become lovers of their self. Now, we live in a society right now, as I'm speaking, where men, when I say men, I'm talking about men and women, men have no, no love for God anymore, and they're out here trying to find their own little G for themselves, or trying to become a little G of their own. What me and my brother had to deal with yesterday when we were evangelizing yesterday in downtown Jacksonville, Florida was something that a lot of you won't be able to stand or understand what you're dealing with if you're still walking in the flesh. If you're still walking in the flesh or still have a carnal mind, you won't get what I'm saying. There is something out there now. My God. There is something out there now. That is new age. Science. Third eye phenomenon. The third eye uh, of a horror. Of aura. And. Hebrew Israelites. Camps. Mix all into one. To, yeah, that's a lot, I know You're talking about Demons Are walking among you The Father says you're not just wrestling against flesh and blood Brothers and sisters, understand this When spiritual attacks are coming Understand that you're not just wrestling against flesh and blood But you're wrestling against Principalities, darkness In high places Meaning you're wrestling against things That the fleshly man cannot see only if you're in the spirit, you're going to be able to discern what's going on. Now, what me and my brother was dealing with yesterday is where this young girl and this young Caucasian white guy and a black girl, they're in cahoots together. She's a witch. She's a witch. She's a warlock. Young. Young now. And he is on a whole nother, they like to call it vibration or a whole nother entity, a whole different type of realm that he's living in. Not of the, of, of the spiritual realm, but on the wicked side of the fence to where they have been conjuring up spirits and demons and they've been studying the third eye and, and been in the new age religion, which it's not even a religion, it's not even new, it's been going on for thousands of years, it's been going on a long time, this is, this new age, it has the, I'm trying to get the word here, it has uh, the, uh, it has Buddhism and all other things in, into one, but I digress on that, brothers and sisters understand, if you wholeheartedly about your father's business, and you talking about doing his will, understand this, when you get on this side of the fence, when you get on this side and you start going out into the hedges and you're proclaiming the gospel of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, and his father, Elohim, God, which is one. Brothers and sisters, understand what you're going to be dealing with. It's not what a pastor, a deacon, a bishop deals with in a four wall church. When you go out here, you're wrestling against wicked spirits, warlocks, demons, witches, ancient spirits, people that are have the Nephilim blood, people that are atheists, new age. Some believe, some don't believe. The things that you deal with out here, if you're not spiritually sound and in and righteously dividing the word of truth and understanding what God's word truly means and understanding how you need to be effective 
in prayer and in fasting and understanding that the full armor of God is nothing to be played with, to be walking in it and every single day. You must wake up like this, brothers and sisters. Ephesians 6, brothers and sisters, you got to have this. Understand that we're living in some perilous times. And people say that they understand, but in all reality, brothers and sisters, they don't. Some are clueless on what we're dealing with. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, what me and my brother had to deal with yesterday was a battle that is coming to everyone's doorstep. See, you believe because you are in a four-walled church, you don't have to deal with these demons and these warlocks and these unnecessary spirits, unnecessary spirits that I'm talking about, that I'm telling you that's out here. Do you not understand that they're coming? Do you not understand that they're attacking your children? Do you not understand that they're at your doorstep? Do you not understand that you cannot hide? In the times of old, when it was in the, the Sodom and Gomorrah, and a deaf angel came, and they had to put the blood of Jesus Christ of the Lamb over their doorstep to keep that deaf angel from coming to their doorstep. Brothers and sisters, do you not understand that you're going to have to do the same? You should already be doing that now. The Father says, clean up your the crumbs and everything that's at your doorstep. The Father saying that right now, you need to be cleaning up the things that is at your doorstep. Stop worrying about the Kanye's. Stop worrying about these elites. Stop worrying about what's going on out here in the world. Make sure you are right and you are prepared. Because I'm telling you, what me and my brother dealt with yesterday, my words cannot even speak or utter what I'm trying to get you to understand. You're only going to be able to understand it that if you were there, then you would understand. That's the only way you're going to get and understand the just, just the just, just a, a crumb of a grain of a mustard seed to understand what I'm saying. Prepare yourself. I'm telling you. The Father says in his word, he says, man hearts shall faint from the things that are coming upon the land. Man heart is fainting already because they can't even hold or fathom or even just of what's going on in the world right now. People are living in a world right now where science is trying to take over God and try to put God the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. No one will ever be like him and never it will be in this time in history and this time and forevermore. They're trying to use science to try to pull parts of the earth and manna in the, in the world and split atoms and try to open up black holes to see how God created everything. You would never get to that point. Never. So I just wanted to make this video it's going to be titled, Understand What You're Dealing With, and it's way more than what you can even imagine. The King is coming. Prepare your house for the second coming of Christ.